Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how to 10x or significantly increase your chances of passing the GED. Now, whether it's 10x or 2x or 3x or 1000x, whatever um, increase is still going to benefit you tremendously. Now, what I'm going to tell you is going to be, seem kind of like simple advice or, you know, maybe you're watching this video looking for some sort of secret, you know, uh, inside tip know to uh, pass the GED well you know I want you to stick with me here and really think about what I'm gonna tell you okay I'm not gonna give you uh, some sort of insider tip or hey how to kind of sneak through and and if you do these things you know you do these tactics on a GED you'll pass that's not what this is about okay what this is about is how can you truly in a guaranteed way absolutely increase significantly increase your chances of passing the GED comes down to one word all right and that's focus now let's talk about this here for a second when you tell when I say the word focus how is focus related to you pass, passing a GED well I'm gonna tell you from my experience and, uh, and I run the, the website gedmathlessons.com I work with thousands and thousands of people over the years um, uh, from all sorts of backgrounds adults who haven't been in school for 40 years 50 years to those who you know recently left school and you know have change of heart and want now want to pass their GED you need to focus now but focus on what there's a lot of things you need to focus on but here's the thing that really is going to kind of 10x your chances of passing you need to first focus on your on your thoughts your thought patterns okay you have to get control of your mind um, and now what do I mean well very often, okay, for those of you out there who are uh, looking to take the GED, what I've found is that you have a lot of, um, what's the word here, maybe negative thoughts going on, you know, or your, your confidence level is low, or you're worried, you know, you have anxiety, you know, about it. And this is completely normal. It's completely understandable. So I, I totally get that, <laughs> you know, anyone would. But here's the, th the thing. You have to overcome that. All right. If you're trying to study or if you're trying to do something big and that kind of programming is running in your background, you're going to significantly handicap your chances of passing a GED. So let's kind of do a little stick figure here. OK, it's kind of, you know, kind of have fun here for a second. We don't have to be overly serious to talk about this, uh, you know, and this is the first thing what I'm talking about. You need to lighten up. OK, so if in your brain, you know, you're you're thinking, oh, I want to, you know, pass the GED and you know it's something I want to do but you're thinking this but at the same time you have all these you know bad kind of worries you know I didn't do good in school I'm not sure I can make it you know I could uh, pass the math this is too much you know I need to get it done in, in three months you know if I don't get my GED I won't be able to get into this school or training program but I also want my GED see you're kind of splitting your brain between thoughts okay one of wanting something and then you subconsciously um, maybe worried thinking that you're you're not going to be able to get this although you want this this is this is a this is a bad um, scenario for anybody who wanted to do something big. Now, if you can focus your mind, all right. If you can focus your mind to reduce this, okay, reduce this type of thinking, you're going to tremendously help yourself. See, your brain, when you think about the GED, you're kind of associating all this bad stuff together. So this is kind of like a package deal in your your mind right now you're like okay I'm gonna think about the GED you're thinking about bad and good stuff now you may not consciously be thinking about the bad but believe me it's there so if you can focus and say you know I'm not gonna worry about this it is what it is okay I need to just focus completely on what can I do to take actions to to work towards uh, getting my GED and this is really the secret of doing anything big in your life. You can't worry about the past, okay? You can't worry about what what could happen, what what's going to happen if I don't, you know, if I don't pass, or you know, um, what are people going to think of me, etc. The only way to overcome this kind of thinking is to be focused uh, in terms of a, it's a mental commitment to say, all right, you need to have a conversation with yourself, and you need to get kind of in a quiet place, and you have to say. Okay, 
I'm going to let all this stuff go. Now, it's still going to be there. You know, we're, we're you know, we're, we're human beings, and even myself, you're not going to 100% be able to get rid of these kind of emotions and these worries. But if you can reduce this, okay, if you can reduce these thoughts, guess what uh, occurs? You are becoming, you're going to become much more effective when you study for the GED. I'm telling you, it's an inverse proportion. The more you can eliminate worry and anxiety and, and, and bad thoughts, the, the more you're going to increase your chances of passing the GED. Because when you focus and you work on actually studying, okay, when you actually study, you're going to be studying in a better mental kind of framework, okay? You're going to be, you know, your mind's going to be healthier. It's going to be more receptive to learning. It's very much like, uh, here, let's kind of use another example here real quick. Let's uh, think of like a, a farmer, okay? So he's out here in his, his field, okay? And he's putting seeds down, right? And he's worried, oh boy, you know, these seeds, you know, they're not, they're not going to make it. It's going to be a bad, um, uh, season, you know, the, the crop's not going to do well. If he's constantly worried about that, guess what? He, he's going to kind of attract some of that <laughs> into its life. It's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. The The ground is not going to be as fertile. And this might seem kind of, um, uh, it's a word, kind of hokey to some of you out there. Like, oh, well, this is kind of like, you know, into the paranormal or supernatural listen i'm telling you right now your mind is powerful okay and your thoughts are very powerful now we're talking now the farmer can't maybe it doesn't have direct control over their land but your thoughts your mind okay and the way you're learning this is your mind is kind of like the land so your your brain is going to be better receptive to grow success okay if you stop worrying Okay, and and the only way you you're you're going to be able to do that is through focus. Okay, you're going to have to learn how to focus. That is going to be the key to so many things you do, not only in the GED but in your entire life. So let's talk a little bit about how you focus. Well, let's kind of go down here for a second. So focus. So if I was to ask you, how do you focus? You know, maybe pause and think about that. How how do you focus, right? Personally, like what does that mean exactly? Uh, what does that concept mean? Well, to me, okay, some of the, the characteristics of increasing your focus is you need to find kind of like quiet time, all right? In other words, you're going to have to make it, make it a priority so you can kind of think quietly to yourself, okay? That's the first kind of characteristic that comes in. It's like, you know what? You know, uh, put your phone away for a second, go into a room that's quiet, or go to the park, or find some place that you're quiet where you can actually think. We just don't do this enough uh, today as, uh, as human beings. You have to really get into this kind of reflective, quiet state. Okay, so that's the first thing. You have to have a conversation with yourself, and where you're just focused on basically telling yourself, "Listen, I'm not going to worry about the past. I'm not going to worry about these things as much. I'm just going to." you know, go forward, do the best I can do to improve, okay? So this is one of the uh, kind of like starting points of focus. Another main thing, and I don't want to put too many things here because we don't have to uh, make this overly complex, but once you kind of get in that quiet space, then you need to start taking action. And what do I mean by that? Well, you actually have to start studying. <laughs> you actually got to pick up a book. You actually have to try to learn um, some math, you know, or, or, or uh, reading, etc. Whatever the case is, you have to start doing this. Okay, now here's another place where people kind of um, hurt their chances of passing a GED. They try to take too much action all at once. Like, okay, I'm going to read this whole book. I can do it. They get overconfident over and then they, uh, you know, kind of like they have this big ball of, you know, of steam and energy and they kind of like, you know, they'll go really hardcore for a week or two, maybe three weeks, and then they get kind of exhausted and no, you got to do not do that, all right? You need to pace yourself, okay? In other words, um, stay small. I'm going to kind of use this term here. Stay small. Don't go big. Don't go like, oh, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to just like go crazy and stuff, although that's commendable and that you know, logically, that would increase your your chances of of, of passing the, the GED. But you're much better staying small. And what do I mean by that? Doing a little bit. But the key is every day. All right, every day. 
you got to stay consistent. Consistency is going to be so much more important than the quantity of your, your work. Okay. So even I would much rather have a person have focused 15 minutes a day, you know, over an extended period of time, maybe a few months, that's going to be so much better for a person in terms of their increasing their chances of passing a GD than saying, okay, uh, study for three hours a day. It's not going to work because you're not going to be able to stay focused for that long. You see, that's the key, right? How long can you stay focused? Truly speaking, you know, with everything going on in our lives, and I'm sure in your life as well, you got other things going on than, than just the GED. You're not going to be able to stay focused for that long, you know, unless you're like a full time student. So keep, stay small, but stay consistent, all right? Stay consistent. And I would say a good uh, time that you should be looking for. Uh, it was maybe 15 to 30 minutes a day. I mean, if you could get it to upwards of 30 minutes per day, have focused, truly focused time where you're actually taking action and reading and studying and doing practice problems, you're going to be, you're going to just like be almost guaranteed to pass your GED and, and not that long either. Okay. We're talking a matter of months and not years. Okay. You'll be amazed how these things work because you could, because it's kind of like compound interest. It, your chances grow exponentially. In other words, your chances start increasing a little bit, but they start compounding. Okay. And they start rapidly go, going up. So you'll reach like a kind of a critical mass. So I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to have a kind of conversation with yourself and uh, doing a self-assessment. Um, whether you have been studying for the GED for a long period of time, okay, or you're just starting out, or you're kind of maybe revisiting this, ask yourself, how focused am I, okay? Because this is going to be the key, all right? And let's just kind of reiterate a few things. One, you know, and there's no shame in this, by the way, you know, kind of maybe take an inventory. What's been my thinking? You know, has it been, I've been overly worried? Oh, okay, you know, try to find some way to reduce that anxiety. All right, and that's not going to be, that's different for every person. So I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but you have to work on it, okay? Try to decrease this because you're going to be increasing your odds of passing, okay? Anyways, um, stay positive. You absolutely guaranteed can pass a GED. I don't care who it is that's watching this video or what your background is. I've already seen so many successful uh, stories. So it's really up to you whether you believe yourself. But um, let me leave you with this. If you're looking for some help for the GED in terms of math, um, I have a very, very successful site in terms of uh, people using the free course here at gedmathlessons.com. So this can totally help you with the mathematics uh, portion of the GED. Um, so please come on over. It's a free course. And if you like this video, uh, please, uh, you know, say so. Maybe indicate a thumbs up and subscribe. I do a lot of uh, free content like this because it's really in my heart to, uh, to help as many people as I can. Well, thank you so much, and I wish you all the best.